Smorgasburg, everybody's favorite weekly food fest is back for the summer, but it looks a little bit different than what we're used to. The good news is you can still get your hands on many of their delicious dishes. We are here today to find out what they're up to. Eric, congratulations on your 10th season of Smorgasburg. It's probably the most unique season you've had to deal with yet, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I think we're just happy to have a 10th season. Like most people, we're satisfied with, you know, whatever we're doing right now. How did you even come up with the idea way back when? So my partner, Jonathan, and I, we, um, I worked for Marty Markowitz, the borough president in communications as his speechwriter. Jonathan had a blog called Brownstoner. We knew each other. This is like, you know, mid 2000s when Brooklyn is still trying to distinguish itself from Manhattan as a place to live and a place to visit. And um, we sort of saw together as friends an opening to like create something that was Brooklyn centric and for Brooklyn people and that would draw people from Manhattan. And that became the Brooklyn Flea in Fort Greene. And the food at the Flea became a special thing right out of the gate. You know, three years later, just around the corner from here, we sort of spun off the food into its own thing, Smorgasburg. It's a hundred vendors in a single place, all selling different kinds of food under a tent. But right now, this is Smorg to go. This is not Smorgasburg. You're not coming inside. You're not waiting on line. Um, so there's good and bad things about it. So Smorg to go is 10 vendors and they change every week. Um, so instead of getting a hundred vendors on one day, you're gonna get like 50 vendors over the course of a month. And then they're setting up six days a week. So this is really more of like grabbing your lunch, going back to your house to work, getting a picnic with your friends, grabbing dinner and going to the park, that kind of thing. We started a partnership with Seamless uh, recently, Smorg Delivered. And so you go online and you order your food and each week the vendors change. So you picked a couple of things for us to try. Uh, tell me about the vendors that you selected and why. Nyakatori Tatsu. They are, you know, twirling things on sticks. They've got a little solar panel by their booth, which I love. And then this is a cheeseburger from our vendor Duck Season. So their whole shtick is they do like duck wings, french fries cooked in duck fat. That's a burger that has duck fat in it. And then this is one of my favorite vendors, Vaquero Elotes. Their whole thing is uh, elotes, which are the Mexican corn on a stick with cotilla cheese and um, some spices. And then my pin rye. And this is a guy who was a chef at Fatty Crab. Ooh. And, um, and then he like, you know, bumped off and lived in Thailand for a while. Came back, was like, I learned how to make a papaya salad. And he um, was going to start with us as a new vendor in April. Um, so instead he's starting, he's doing smork to go. So he makes a papaya salad and then he makes this awesome papaya limeade with Thai basil in it. Eric, thank you. This was a lovely and very filling lunch. For everybody out there that wants to support Smorg to Go and Smorg Deliver, what's the best way to do that? Smorgtogo.com to order to pick up and then seamless to get it delivered right to your home. And you know, spread the love around the vendors. That's the best thing you can do. Sample a little bit from everybody. And keep checking back. They switch out how often? Every Tuesday. So we're open every Tuesday to Sunday. And every Tuesday there's a new lineup. All right. Tuesday it is. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm.